you know there's something about this culture? It demonstrates something. It proves something to us. It proves something that, and I take the next breath, that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. And I want to pick something up in that. The word is, is revealed now, currently. Not merely future, although future is for sure, but there's something right now that proves this to be true. And that's not just a cry of condemnation from Paul, and we want to skip over it because we think, ooh, ooh, judgy, and we want to move on to the next thing. But that's not what he's doing. You know, you read 2 Corinthians, and you see that Paul's heart is intensely pastoral. He really cares. And what he's trying to do is two things. He's trying to actually explain. He's trying to explain the society in which we live. It's a lesson, an explanation of what we see around us. And it's also a warning to culture. It's a love of neighbour statement. That actually, in this, there is pain now. In this, there is woe and there is disaster now. People suffer now under this sin of ungodliness and unrighteousness. And he's warning people that it has consequences. And, you know, in my job all the time, we all are constantly witnessing the consequences of this world. And we recently, for example, and this always lingers with me, we had Walt Heyer come out to Australia. Walt, for those who don't know, was one of the first ever gender reassignment patients in the world. He underwent a gender reassignment in the 1950s. Walt lived as a woman, a trans woman, for a number of years before he realised, like so many others who go down that pathway, that this irreversible surgery had not solved his problems. Now, he became an alcoholic, he became suicidal and all of those things. But, you know, eventually Walt detransitioned and Walt became a Christian. And he's a wonderful Christian man and he now runs a counselling ministry called Transgender Regret. And he travels the world counselling people in exactly the same situation as he was in. And he has seen thousands of people now. He's even referred some people to us in Australia who have, as soon as two days after surgery, realised what a terrible mistake they've made. And you know, we're in a society now where we're giving children scalpels rather than counselling. I said to Walt, you know, why is it that this is such a a widespread phenomenon? This is happening everywhere, you say, and we, we certainly are getting the sense that there's a tsunami coming. I said, but why are you the only one who's actually out there talking about these things? And his answer was, he said, well, Martin, I'm 80. I said, yeah, so? He said, I'm the only one, nearly, that's well enough to talk about what happened to me because it was so long ago. It takes years for people to build up their broken lives. Because he says in more than 50% of cases, when he goes and talks to people, he says, what went wrong? He said, they can always answer the question. He said, in more than 50% of cases, they'll say child sexual abuse. He said, in the nearly all of the remainder of cases, they'll cite some comorbidity like autism or, or, or some kind of uh, mental health concern. But see, rather than heal them, they got given a scalpel, unquestioningly, and went down that path. There's consequences now. This hurts now. No, I recently was speaking at the Walk for Life here in Adelaide just a couple of weeks ago. Amazing event. But one of the things about that walk, the part of the speech that, uh, that, that I put in there that's, that I found profoundly moving was the stories of post-abortive women. And I read a number of stories there about women who have gone through grief and some very brave women spoke at that rally and told their own stories. It was so powerful to hear stories of women who, you know, Uh, they they are driven suicidal over what was done. Women who, you know, every time they hear a baby cry, all they can think about is the child that's now not with them. You know, women who have had massive complications and been driven to the end of themselves, those stories were incredible. And we deny this to our dying day, but there's consequences now in this life. This is hurting people. It matters. Uh, Even the issue of sexuality, I often say, if it wasn't for modern medicine and sexual health clinics, we would not be able to live the way we live with our sexuality in this culture and get away with it. We just wouldn't. But science, technology and wealth masks a great darkness. But see, we think we get away with it because we treat the immediate symptoms. We don't get away with it. It wreaks a havoc on people's psychology like they can scarcely believe And, you know, even in this chapter, Paul says, you know, people who go down this life, 
they receive in themselves the result of their error. It's here in Romans 1. These are things that God has rejected and they are the things that that will destroy us. But see, there's something we need to know about this. We look at these issues and they concern us and they move us. By the way, this is why when people say, um, you know, uh, know, why, why would you impose on people? Uh, you know, why do you go out there and speak the truth on these issues and impose on people when they don't want you to? Well, firstly, someone's values are going to be imposed. But secondly, I just want to say, how dare you try and check out of your obligation to love your neighbour to that degree? That you would leave people in this state, leave people to hear voices that would tell them these things and do nothing about it? That's not what we're to do. We're to love God and therefore love our neighbour. And that is why we do what we do. That is why we try and change things. Hey, one more thing, you know, I've been looking at the metrics and I figured out something. You guys are watching the videos and not subscribing. So please help us out a great deal by hitting the like button and then hitting subscribe, hitting the bell as well so you get the notifications. It helps us out a really great deal and you can click here to see more.